because when you pray you pray that your prayers will make God change his mind sometimes and he will decide it to work for your favor, to, to help you for your favor so that means that it, don't never ever give up praying even if things may look may look mm, may, may it even if uh, you have prayed and you did not get Jesus told then Jesus told his disciples a parable to show them that they should always pray and to give and not to give up he said in certain time I am just saying today we are going to talk about prayers that brings the results this is a topic that I will continue continuously to talk about this in several in several episodes because the, the reason is it is just very long so I cannot speak every time if I speak in the whole video it will take a long time to finish so I have decided to just cut it into several pieces so please make sure that you follow me with these topics about the prayers that it brings result the reason I'm talking about this is that it is a big problem in Christianity or in Christian in Christians most of Christians they are facing this problem and um, that when we pray we when people pray and it, they don't get it look like we are just talking about it, there is God but God does not is not exact exist some people feel that maybe he does not exist there is many Christians are living in poverty disease you can just imagine that there are some Christians that are actually living in uncurable disease and some people have the conditions that it cannot be cured and they are Christians. You can just imagine that there are also Christians that they are even losing their, many Christians are losing their family members, kids from disease and then you can ask yourself where is their God to help them and this is something that many people started to wonder if this each other we are talking about God does it really God really exist you know and if he exists why does not he help those people who has get these problems those disease and that's the reason is that we needed to make it I have been making I have made some new vi I have made some videos before about why the sometimes the prayers are not answered and you will find this link on my description description section or down below that you will you can click there if you haven't been there on through that video so you can read more and get more understanding of what I'm going to talk about I also made another video about because there is so the reason that prayers aren't being answered it can be that maybe God hasn't heard those prayers and the reason there are some several reasons that can cause that God does not hear the prayers it is not because God is deaf no but it's because of some things that because you know because of the things that you, when you learn from that video you will understand why sometimes God does not hear the prayers so it's very important if you haven't been in that through that video to list to for to just to listen so you get more understanding of what I'm talking about because it's not so necessary to repeat every time everything that I've been talking about I have already spoken but that also said the reason that God does not hear the prayers it can be also that the prayers they can be have been answered but they have delayed I have also made the video about why God hasn't the prayers delayed and the, the, the link will also be on the my description box it can also be like God has heard prayers but he has decided not to answer and it can be of 
different reasons. It can be like because sometimes when people does not play a pray according to his will. I have also made another video about how to pray according to the will of God. I just took some tips. I don't know if I took all of them, but I took some tips that you can check and you can also, all those tips will help you to uh, better your prayers the next time when you pray to God. So you means you have to take these considerations so to make sure that your prayers are being answered. So I continue with my my topic about the about how to pray the prayers that brings the results. There is this when I before I continue with my that topic, I just want to tell you that all not all of those those reasons I have been described are only that. There is also some more reasons. It can also be like God has decided not to answer you yet because I do believe that it can also be like he maybe he want to study something or he wanted to observe something it can really happen that God has decided to make you wait a little bit because he wanted to study the environment maybe something he wanted to figure out it can also be like Maybe you are living in the environment and you got want to see how the environment is treating you. Like maybe you ask for help from people and the people does not want to help. And the guy can be looking at that and say that let me see if this what how these people are reacting. So maybe he can just let God can let you go to some place and ask for help and to see if this person you are going to ask for is a good person or is not a good person it can be that i don't say that but this is just in my thinking and i must I, I might be correct i might be not correct another reason is that also this is very i think this is somehow it's biblical it can also be like maybe you are being tested the truth is God is not testing people, but God can allow the, the test come to you. It can be like, because God himself does not test anyone according to the Bible, but God also can have tendency to allow the test to come to you to see how strong you are. And sometimes it can be like how you can it, what how much you can tolerate it in the time when God wanted to promote you, in the time when God wanted to put you in front of even more harder things. So He wanted to see how much he, how far you have been, how strong you have been, how much He can trust you to put it in front of those things without that you fall. It can also be like that He, he can just decided to let those temptations to come to you. But these temptations will not take long until God Himself will come to intervene. But he can just decide to say that let me see how long it this will take for this person to how can this person tolerate? Do you understand that? And your inner strength, your inner strength, that is what is going to tell God if you really deserve uh, that promotion or not. You don't deserve that promotion, or maybe you need to wait. A little bit or maybe this he has been putting you into too high level so because this is how that's the reason when we be being tempted we must make sure that we give that perfect you say you say you give the perfect perfect you show the perfect fruits of that time because this is making even God your God proud of that so our faith is very important when it comes to when we meet those trials when we meet those trials to show faith that it makes God very 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 
proud of us and he love us and this is how he also promote us in James chapter 1 verse 2 for considered pure joy my brother and sister whenever you face trials of many kinds because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance let your present finish its work so that you may be mature and complete not lacking anything so it is very important that to know that sometimes the trials they are coming so that we become we show maturity in our how mature we have become so that God can so it is very important how you show your and that's the reason that it, it, the faith is very it's it's very much uh, important to show in the time of trouble in the time of trial it's very very important so that the trial of your faith is being much more precious than of gold that it perishes though it is being tried with fire might be found into praise and the honor and the glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ so this is also very important that's the reason sometimes you can may be facing but remember this that if when you are being tested because those remember one thing that this it is not permanent it can take some time but not permanent that is something you should know if you are being tested so it will not be permanent it must you god must find the way for you out of the situation so make it in mind when the prayer trials come always god will create the way out of it so you may be facing a problem so god can just let okay the devil is testing you is putting you into temptation in putting you into the trial maybe you are sitting and suddenly you are facing a very scary situation in front of you you as a child of god how you react that is going to show god that uh, your spiritual maturity do you understand so make sure that uh, you remember that uh, god will always make the way out of the situation have it in your mind that always there will be the way out of the situation this consider yourself when you get problems make sure that even if when you cry to god it look like god is is not answering that does not mean that he will be quiet forever he is going to make the way out because he is watching you and he know everything about your situation but he is just waiting to see so the this is it to get out of that is to show great faith in this situation you to show that you are unshakable and many times that's the reason that the bible says that no temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind always it will be come that which is common and that is you can bear it god is faithful he will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear but when you are tempted he will also provide a way out so that you can endure it so he will always create create the way out of that situation to make sure that you are you are safe because God is making sure that you are safe in we are talking about these people who are righteous who are living in the righteousness do you understand so when you when you're living in the righteousness your life is perfect i'm not talking nobody is perfect but you are living the righteous life and this is sometimes it can happen that you will come into problems and those problems always remember that God will create the way out of it but it can also be like God is also try 
maybe it is like you when you are living in the like I say that you live in the atmosphere of people that God wanted to observe how this is how these people are acting towards you so that he know he know himself why he does that maybe he wanted to see so he can let the problems come to you so that he, how they treat you this is going to but it, i if you are also living you are a nourishes person and you live in the righteousness know that also this is just exactly the same that god is going to make the way for you out of it so the best thing to do is to show great faith show great faith that it does not mean that he he is he will be quiet forever he will sometimes he will decide to make you to just to, to just not to answer you yet to make you wait a little bit it can also be like maybe you are in the situation of mm, maybe you are living in a place or you have the enemies or people who are really 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 bad and these people maybe they are mistreating you so you pray but god does not create the way maybe he does not punish these people maybe he does not do anything to this uh, to punish these people and you may be thinking that why god does not do anything to punish them god is asking you a child of god to be patient the reason is he is also he is also fair to these people he wanted these people who are really really ugly and who are bad towards you to get the time to repent sometimes he's giving them chance to repent so that he does he is not very fast coming into punishing these people he will wait until when it is he is satisfied that maybe so he what he is asking us to be patient so it can be like the more you tolerate this is also is going to provide you as the winner at the end when you are being promotion your promotion will be great that's the reason you god is also it can also happen that the temptation will also but remember always always remember no matter how long it takes it is not it is not going to take forever because god is going to turn around for your favor so show only the only thing is to show great faith to god that it does not mean that you shall not ask or you shall not pray no you say that ah don't i do not need to pray according to jesus you shall not give up praying that's something that's so important to remember that you shall not give up prayers you shall not give up prayers no matter the situation that you are going through you shall not uh you shall not stop believing that God will provide the way out of that and also you shall always believe that you shall always never give up praying crying day and night so to make sure that these prayers will also show that will help you in the long run and sometimes it can also help to shorten the time of god to be because god when he is looking at you he is feeling it's a feeling like he he's when he, how you pray and uh, so uh, he will make him he, he will make he will Because he, when you pray, you pray that your prayers will make God change His mind sometimes, and He will decided to work for your favor, to to help you for your favor. So that means that don't never ever give up praying, even if.
things may look may look may, may, it will, even if uh, you have prayed and you did not get Jesus told then Jesus told his disciples a parable to show them that they should always pray and to give and not to give up he said in certain town there was a judge who never feared God nor cared what people thought and it, there was a widow in town who kept coming to him with prayer grant me justice against my adversary mm -hmm. and uh, this widow for some time he refused but he finally said for himself even though i don't fear god and or care what people think yet because this will keep bothering me i will see that she gets justice and so he helped and the lord is and um, the lord is said listen to what the judge, unjust judge said and will not god bring about justice for his chosen ones who cry out to him day and night will he keep putting them off i tell you he will see that they get justice and quickly however when the son of man comes will he find faith on earth you understand so however because if god if god can also change even if god decided to say maybe i should wait a little bit but then he, because of your your cry can your cry and what how you pray how you beg can also make him decide to answer you quicker than how you than how he should wait so that he, to make sure that you get what you want and your you must always show faith mm -hmm. up, up to him this is something this is just the, i put you into the mind because when we continue to talk about how to pray according to the according to to how to pray up to, to to pray the prayers that he brings results you must you need to have these understandings so you know that in your mind that whenever you pray god will always answer god will always answer remember even jesus says that we shall never give up on our faith we shall not give up on our faith even if even if we pray and nothing happens or whatever it is nothing happens and we are not being answered but still we shall never give up praying pray pushing until you get you understand push until something happens you pray until something happens you do everything that is that is required until something happens in luke chapter 11 verse 5 to 8 and he said to them which of you shall have a friend and they go to him at midnight midnight and they say to friend lend let me let me three loaves for a friend of mine has come to me on his journey and i have nothing to say before him and he will answer from within and say do not trouble me the door is now shut and my children are with me in bed i cannot rise and give you give to you i say to you so he will not rise and give to him because because he is his friend yet because of his persistence he will rise and give him as many as he need so he is talking about the friend who was coming to bother his friend night time to lend him a three loaves of bread but that friend because because of that friend is tired and it's night time when the kids are sleeping and he is sleeping he decided not to i don't want to be bothered and he said please i'm sleeping right now but when he, the the friend that is a bold friend say that no 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 my friend i am standing here i'm not leaving until 
you wake up and give me the the bread so I can uh, help my visitor home and uh, that that friend that is the, the bold friend will be standing there until the friend is decided to wake up because now he get tired of of, of pushing him come and give him bread so we need to be like that friend because even God is our friend and God himself he that means God himself he want us to bother him even if he don't want it to answer still we can continue to push him say that Lord I'm not leaving until something happen do you know what I'm talking about here I am talking about when you you have something you want to tell your God and you want something from God that means that make sure that you you cry you do whatever it, it takes until something happens never give up but make sure that you adjust yourself that's something to do that you consider yourself like let me see what is the reason what what can i be ah, it can be maybe i do not maybe have to change my how to pray so that so you decide yourself how to do this but make sure that you never give up until you get what you have been what you want from god so it is up to you to decide it is up to you to decide now you can start even today that to start to push until something happens what is in your mind that is actually because when jesus he go he went around he was walking around he has never pushed anyone away and when people come to him the first thing he asked them what shall i do to you oh the people spoke from their desires from of their hearts you understand they spoke from the desires of their hearts some people say that my desire my dream come true is i just wanted to see think about someone who has been born blind but his desire actually is to start to see started to walk alone you understand i am and he just say okay receive to walk so you think about you what is inside your uh, inner desire what do you want start pushing now start pushing until something happens start to tell your god what is you want because everything is in his power it is not only working it is not only whatever it is it is God can do more than that so it is only about starting now come on start now tell your God what do you want and stand for stand for it until you get it amen I believe that many people will have answered prayers from today because they will know how to pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ may the Lord the living God as my God live may he answer your prayers from today in the name of Yeshua hallelujah amen